It's time now for Countywide, a special presentation of Yavapai Broadcasting News. You'll hear about the hot topics in Yavapai County that affect all our lives. And now here's today's Countywide. A good day, everybody. I'm Brad Miller, and welcome to Countywide. Happy to have you along with us talking about an important subject again today, and that is the heavy and sometimes difficult subject of Alzheimer's. Uh, It affects uh, many Americans, including a lot of folks in our uh, community. It's a disease that we often associate with older folks, retirement age and up. And, well, that's not always uh, the case. And maybe we'll talk a tiny bit about that. There is an important event coming up in the community uh, in October, and we'll chat about that too. Our guest today joining us uh, from uh, Phoenix, uh, uh, Sarah Borner, is the Director of Development with Alzheimer's Association and the Desert Southwest Chapter. And then uh, joining us to James Patrick, uh, Fitzpatrick, I'm sorry, uh, is the Director of Advocacy for the same group. And I say good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. I appreciate you uh, uh, taking uh, taking your time. And uh, in our, our relatively short time, this is an illness that is big. It impacts a lot of people. And we have about 20 minutes, so we're not going to solve this problem here today. But I do want to know, just uh, kind of uh, in a cursory manner, um, what is Alzheimer's? And 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 how does it affect uh, it, it, its victims? And here in a retirement community especially, uh, what do we begin to to kind of look for if we're a loved one, a family member, a spouse, a caregiver, whatever the case uh, may be? When do we start to see this happen? So, so I will I I will say this: um, Alzheimer's is not a normal part of aging. Um, it is a chronic disease um, of the brain. A lot of people think that uh, Alzheimer's or dementia in general. Uh, just comes with life, uh, and it doesn't. And to give you just like a little bit of scientific information that I possibly could provide, uh, dementia is the umbrella term. Um, There's numerous types of dementia. Alzheimer's disease is the most common type, but it is not the only one. Um, We have Lewy bodies, we have frontal temporal, there's a wide variety, and they all have various different symptoms that can come along with it. Uh, at the Alzheimer's Association, we support anybody with any type of dementia, uh, but in general, like I'll probably focus just on Alzheimer's today for, for any information. Uh, we do know that the most common risk factor is age, um, but it is not the only risk factor of the disease. Um, we, we know that uh, genes, lifestyle, um, other chronic diseases uh, may as- as- exasperate the risk uh, of the disease, but it is not, age is not the only common cause, but we tend to know it as being a senior disease. Right. It seems like the there used to be a word years ago, senility. And it, I yes. don't, I don't hear that very much anymore. Has Alzheimer's been the more appropriate uh, uh, name for what we used to think of as senility, or are we talking two different things completely? You know, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not really sure because I, I do know uh, I've been with the Alzheimer's Association now for eight years, uh, and you know, there's always, oh, it's just a touch of senility or, or what have you. I think as more and more people are diagnosed with the disease, because if you think about it, I mean, in general, we weren't talking about Alzheimer's disease, you know, 10, 20 years ago. It may have been, oh, she's got Alzheimer's, she's forgetting things. Uh, But beyond that, you know, since 2011, 2012, uh, when the first baby boomers turned 65, we have seen this huge uptick in people getting diagnosed with this disease whether or not Alzheimer's has uh, taken over the the term senility, I just think we have more awareness now than we did, I mean, even eight years ago. I mean, the science, the, the, the concern and awareness aspect, people are talking about this. It's, sure. it's on television shows, it's in movies, and it's portrayed correctly, not just, oh, Look, grandma's forgetting things. Right. She's being silly. It seems like, uh, I mean, for, for I'll speak for myself, uh, but I think for a lot of people, uh, uh, President Reagan. 
uh, yes. was kind of the face of Alzheimer's for a lot of people. Many people hadn't heard it until then. Uh, his daughter, Patty Davis's book, um, uh, to this day, is widely read for folks who have uh, Alzheimer's uh, being introduced into their families through a loved one, a spouse, uh, whatever the case may be. So we certainly do know um, a, a lot more about it. But let's start with um, the, the fears of it. You did mention that there are some things about um, uh, behaviors, uh, medical condition, and, 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 and things like that. We used to think of Alzheimer's even 20 years ago as something, well, it, you're going to get it or you're not. Uh, but we do seem right. to know, as you suggested in the in the first segment there, that uh, we do have uh, better ideas about risk factors and behaviors, diet, nutrition, things, things, things like that. Um, what would be some typical symptoms? Where do we end with? Well, I'm a little forgetful. Where's my keys? Oh, there they are. To when we start to think these are telltale signs of an onset of Alzheimer's. So you really need to look at the degree of any type of cognitive impairment. Uh, the way that I like to explain um, cognitive decline and, and dementia and Alzheimer's is think about your knees. When you're younger, your knees are amazing. You can get up and down, you can move left and right. Uh, but as we age, our knees aren't as good as they were when we were younger. So with life in general and just aging uh, normally, you may have some cognitive decline. Like I, I'm just a couple of years from, from turning 50. I can't remember people's names for the life of me now. However, I'm not totally concerned that, oh, it might like lead to Alzheimer's. Uh, it's, just, it's just normal. And I think, you know, sometimes my brain is just filled with a whole bunch of names to begin with. And I remember faces, I just may not remember names. But what you need to look at is the degree that things happen. We may forget things. We may forget where our keys are. It's not uncommon for you to run around your home looking for your keys and they're in your hand. That's normal part of aging. That's life. That could just be stress or, or what have you. But it's when you continue to forget where you put things or you have issues with uh, solving problems, challenges in planning, uh, confusion with time or place, uh, decreased or, or poor judgment. It's when you look at these things and it's impacting your daily living. Said it's one thing just forgetting or, or not remembering certain things, but if it's a continuous thing that it's impacting you, go to your doctor, talk to your doctor. Isn't it uh, most common that um, a family member, typically a spouse, would start to realize that these symptoms might be more than just the routine forgetfulness that a lot of us suffer. Doesn't it kind of work that way frequently? You know, I will say yes, as time goes on, but when you look at the person that is, is dealing with, I mean, in the early days, it's mild cognitive impairment, not all mild cognitive impairment will turn into a, a type of dementia, but all dementia does start with mild cognitive impairment. So I'm just going to use the I'm just going to use me as an example as a reference. If I started having a cognitive decline or you know being confused more and more, I would probably try to figure out a way to mask it from my spouse or my my partner. You know, it, and it varies because there's huge shame with it. Uh, you know, nobody. I don't think anybody wants to be told that they have any type of chronic disease. But when you look at the aspect of this, you know, a lot of people um, hide it, you know, because of the stigma that comes with it. Once you once you have the diagnosis, you have the diagnosis. Uh, but as the disease progresses, the caregiving burden is usually placed on the spouse, which, it, you know, in general, women are more likely to develop Alzheimer's than men, but women are also primarily the caregivers of everybody. Right. Right. And that's true in, 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 in most families, I think. All right. Well, right. Ter right. terrific information. 
Uh, when we come back, we do have to pause, take a, a short break, uh, James. And uh, when we come back, I do want to mention quickly uh, the October event that's coming up, and then we'll do that again at the end of the show. So uh, folks are well aware of uh, of that. I want to get into uh, the next step after we've had the diagnosis. It seems uh, that there are uh, um, some behavior modification and, of course, medication. So if we can maybe visit that in our next segment. Again, we're talking with uh, James Fitzpatrick, uh, Sarah Borner, along uh, with uh, the uh, Alzheimer's Association and the Desert Southwest chapter based in Phoenix. Good information. County wide will be back right after this. Life changes, then it changes again. Predicting the unexpected in life is impossible. That's why it's called unexpected. So when it comes to financial goals, our philosophy is don't predict, prepare. Hi, I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Matthias Sandoval. A job loss, change in health, or a loss of a loved one can have a big impact on your family's financial security. Let's work together to help make sure you're equipped for life's unexpected events. Call our office to schedule a face-to-face appointment. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Verde Solaire, your hometown heating, air conditioning, and plumbing company in the Verde Valley for 38 years, and your trusted North Central Arizona Goodman dealer. Goodman is a name you can trust, designed, engineered, and built in the USA. Verde Solaire offers free in-home estimates on systems that are quiet and affordable. Verde Solaire is locally owned since 1983 and available for all your heating, air conditioning, and plumbing needs. Call 928-567-5315. Visit them online at verdesolaire.com. Better, cleaner, faster. Taxes, taxes, taxes. It's that time again. This is Lewis with Rice Accounting Jackson Hewitt Tax Service. We don't sell cars. We don't do hair or weight tables. We do taxes at Jackson Hewitt Tax Service. We talk taxes and we prepare taxes. Open year-round for tax filings. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service, located throughout northern Arizona. For over 20 years, our local preparers have helped neighbors pay their fair share and no more. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service in the Tri-Cities at 772-7872. That's 772-7872. Welcome back to the program. I'm Brad Miller. It is countywide and Again, today, talking with the Director of Development at the Alzheimer's Association in Phoenix, Sarah Borner, and James Fitzpatrick, the Director of Advocacy. Sarah, a quick question for you. Coming up on October 22nd, a a terrific uh, event that I know folks in our area will uh, want to know uh, a bit more about. Can you talk about that for a moment? Absolutely. Super excited, too. So we have our Walk to End Alzheimer's that's going to be held October 22nd. Um, in Cottonwood, it's going to be, the start is going to be at the Blazin M Ranch, and then we're going to proceed to uh, go into the Dead Horse State Park and walk that trail for the walk. And, you know, the Alzheimer's, or I'm sorry, the Walk to End Alzheimer's is the signature fundraising event for the association, and we have hundreds of them across the country, bringing communities together to raise awareness and to raise money for not only research for the association, but also for the programs and services that we have. And so we're really excited because this year we're bringing it to Cottonwood. It has been um, in Sedona in the past. And so um, we've got a great team of volunteers that are coming together and creating a, a really fun event for people to join on Saturday morning. That's terrific. And again, that's October 22nd. Uh, Is there, do I need to register ahead of time to show up on the day? And if so, what time? Where? Yeah, go ahead. We encourage people to register ahead of time, but if they haven't, that's okay. But to register, they would just go to alz.org slash Verde Valley Walk. And the process is very, very easy. Um, we will have check-in for the walk beginning at 8.30 at the Blazin' M Ranch. And then we also, in every walk that we have across the country, we have something called the Promise Garden Ceremony. And it is really a touching and very moving event where we acknowledge those who have the disease, those who are caring for people with the disease, the people who are advocating for the patients, the caregivers, and for legislation for being able to to impact that on on a higher level. And then we also recognize 
those individuals that we have lost to the, the disease. And unfortunately, you know, as the baby boomers age, they're are more and more of them. And as it, James was talking about earlier, uh, we're going to see this become even more prevalent, I think, in the years to come. Sure, sure. Well, that's terrific. It sounds to me, I mean, this is a fundraiser, you know, kind of on the face of it. But uh, the way you've described it, I mean, this is a real, uh, there's going to be a lot of information and education uh, opportunities there. It seems uh, that we would want to encourage uh, anyone who has an interest in raising funds and creating resources for the fight against Alzheimer's, but also perhaps anyone who maybe is recently diagnosed or their family or caregivers. Uh, it, it sounds like this would be a very good event uh, to come out and uh, and share and uh, and just kind of meet uh, other people who are are swimming some of the same waters uh, you are. So this sounds uh, sounds terrific coming up on uh, on October 22nd. We appreciate your involvement in coming and do that. That's, well, that's great. thank you very much. And, and I couldn't agree with you more. I think this is a very isolating and, and lonely disease, both for the people who have it and for the caregivers. And I think there's just a sense of camaraderie that comes with, with realizing that you're not alone. Um, I'd also like to mention a great um, fundraising challenge that's going on since you've mentioned fundraising uh, a very generous anonymous donor in the Cottonwood area has agreed to double the donations for team uh, fundraising and so beginning on Monday uh, there will be a two-week double your donation walk team challenge so starting the 22nd and ending on September 5th and for any teams that raise between $250 and $750, up to $750, um, they'll, this donor will um, double what they've raised. And so the $250 can turn into $500. And so we're super excited about that. And there will be flyers going out into the community. Um, and, you know, post it up around the community also, but it's a great way to kickstart the fundraising. Well, that's terrific. My golly. Okay. Well, this is definitely an event not to miss uh, and to, uh, to, to be part of, particularly if Alzheimer's has impacted or touched you or uh, your family. Listen, I want to go ahead and uh, take just another break. When we come back, I want to get back to my question uh, for James. Uh, we, we, we've gotten the diagnosis in our kind of hypothetical a case and typically uh, what would uh, what would happen next we do need to take one more short break it is county wide and we're talking with some good folks from the alzheimer's association of the desert southwest chapter we'll be back right after this your neighborhood jackson hewitt tax service for over 25 years and continues to serve the communities in northern arizona jackson hewitt is here to help you file your personal taxes as laws and situations change, your local Jackson Hewitt Tax Service professional stays updated to serve you. Drop off or make an in-person appointment in Flagstaff. Call 213-8626. That's 213-8626. That's 213-8626. The award-winning experts at Verde Solar Services offer the trusted carrier products that help you customize a solution to fit your budget. Verde Solar is a family-owned business serving the Verde Valley for 38 years with the carrier products you can rely on. Carrier AC systems are trusted to bring energy-efficient, quiet, consistent comfort. Call 928-567-5315 for a free assessment of your AC and air quality needs. Verde Solar Services, online at verdesolaire.com, a factory authorized carrier dealer. Don't let concerns about today's events derail your long-term financial strategy. Hi, I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Matthias Sandoval, and I'm here to help. We can work together to understand the impact of these events and make sure your goals are top of mind. While you can't control the market volatility, We'll focus on what you can control. We can connect in several virtual ways. Start by giving me a call at 634-1044. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Again, we welcome you back to the program. It is countywide in our final few moments. Uh, James Fitzpatrick, uh, Director of Adv Advocacy for Alzheimer's Association 
the Desert Southwest chapter based out of Phoenix. A lot of great information about the upcoming event, and we'll leave you with that, listeners, in just a moment. Uh, but James, uh, the case we kind of talked about, once there's that d- a difficult diagnosis, and that's going to be something that all the family is going, uh, I'm sure, uh, to have to be involved in, uh, get that settled in your minds and your hearts about what is happening to mom or dad or whomever. Uh, but then we get into what? Medication after a, a typical diagnosis, what happens? So so it varies. I mean, I, I will state this. Trying to get a diagnosis can be very, very tedious. Um, less than 50% of people with the disease actually get a diagnosis, and it's around 33% that it's actually disclosed. Because in general, the medical treatments um, up until 2021, uh, there, there were like sev- there are several medications that may alleviate symptoms. But it wasn't until 2021 when the FDA approved a drug called Adjuhelm uh, that has actually shown uh, to reduce amyloid plaque buildup in the brain. Um, but, you know, with that, there's it's a new treatment. There's cost for the treatment. It is an intravenous treatment. Uh, I don't, you know, especially like in rural areas like Cottonwood uh, and the Verde Valley in general, you know, you don't have access to uh, a, a medical dementia research facility unless you come into phoenix or drive down to tucson um but right now like in general the the medications that we do have may alleviate the symptoms for example if you have the flu and you take uh aspirin or or tylenol or what have you it may alleviate the symptoms but you still have uh the flu it's the same thing with the primary drugs that are, are prescribed um, within my role within the association to try to push public policy efforts, you know, we really want to make sure that Adjuhelm is the first treatment that has actually shown um, to uh, attack the disease, but we don't want this to be the only treatment. And the only way to do that is to get uh, our federal as well as our state government behind. And that uh, underlines treatment. That very uh, much underlines the uh, importance of fundraising events uh, the, for, uh, to go toward research, uh, to go uh, toward continuing uh, this battle against an incurable, uh, uh, an incurable uh, illness so far. And that's why Correct. we do things like we're doing on the 22nd. All right. One minute left in our time together. It has kind of flown by. So much good information. But I do want to leave our listeners uh, fresh in their memories or in their minds with uh, uh, what is coming up again on October tw- uh, 22nd, Blazon M, Dead Horse Ranch uh, here in Cottonwood. Who wants to answer that? Sarah, I'll go. You got to talk about walk. Uh, we have our amazing walk to end Alzheimer's. We are coming to Cottonwood. This is the first year that the walk is going to be uh, in Cottonwood. Uh, To register, go to alz.org backslash Verde Valley Walk. It's on October 22nd. Check-in starts at 8.30. It's going to be an amazing event. I personally am looking very much to this event. Uh, I love walk, and the fact that we have a new location just enhances it even more because it's our hugest awareness event, not just a fundraising event. That's terrific. We appreciate the work that the two of you do on behalf of uh, uh, the Alzheimer's Association and Alzheimer's uh, patients and their families uh, throughout Arizona. Sarah Borner, James Fitzpatrick, thank you very much. Again, the event, October 22nd, Blazon M Ranch, alz.org slash vvwalk for more information. It's countywide, and we'll see you next time. This has been Countywide. Listen in each Tuesday and Thursday as we tackle the hot topics and talk to the decision makers across Yavapai County. Each Tuesday and Thursday on this Yavapai Broadcasting Station.